Hello, everybody. Let's read a book. This time, let's read this one. Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. I bet you know this story, don't you? Let's see. Once upon a time, there was a wicked queen. She had a magic mirror, and she would often stand in front of it and say, Mirror, mirror on the wall, who is the fairest of us all? And the magic mirror always said, You, O queen, are the fairest of us all. Do you see the queen looking into the mirror? She wants to be the most beautiful. Now, the king had a little girl called Snow White. Snow White was very pretty. She had skin as white as snow, with rosy red cheeks and black hair. As she grew up, she became more and more beautiful. Do you think she's beautiful? She's there with some of her friends. I bet you know some animals. That's a rabbit, a cat, a butterfly, a badger, a hedgehog, and a squirrel. Some of those are less common than others. One day, when the wicked queen asked the mirror, Who is the fairest of us all? It said, Queen, you are fairer than most. It is true. But Snow White is fairer still than you. <gasps> she doesn't look very happy. The mirror says that Snow White is more beautiful than the queen. This made the queen jealous, and she became very angry. She called for a huntsman and told him to take Snow White into the forest and kill her. Oh my. The man was sad. He loves Snow White. So he didn't kill her, but just left her in the forest, which was still not so helpful. The forest can be a very dangerous place. Snow White wandered along until she came to a tiny little cottage. When she went inside, she found a small table and seven tiny chairs and seven little beds. She lay down on the seventh bed and went to sleep. <sighs> the cottage was the home of seven dwarfs. Each day they went to work in a mine digging for gold. Ooh. When they got home that night, they found Snow White. There's, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Perfect, seven dwarfs. Oh, and they have more animals. There's that badger again. And now we have an owl and a frog. Do you see any more animals? I do not. She told the dwarves what had happened, and they asked Snow White to stay with them. For a long time, they were all very happy. Look how happy they are. Except for maybe him. He looks a little sick, doesn't he? Hmm. Then one day, the wicked queen spoke to her magic mirror again. Mirror, mirror on the wall, who is the fairest of us all? And the mirror said, Queen, you are fairer than most, it is true. But Snow White is fairer still than you. Uh-oh. The queen knew now that the huntsman had tricked her. The mirror told her that Snow White was alive and well and staying with the seven dwarfs. You see the mirror? <gasps> He's showing Snow White dancing and singing with her friends. Now the queen is going to try to get her, don't you think? Let's see. So the wicked queen put some poison in a shiny red apple. Then she dressed up as an old woman and set off over the hills and into the forest to find the seven dwarfs cottage. The queen found Snow White and gave her the poisoned apple. 
The girl didn't know that the old woman was really the wicked queen. Snow White bit into the apple. The next moment, she fell to the ground. She lay there until the dwarfs found her. They all thought that she was dead. The call of her friends. The animals are trying to stop her. But there's Snow White and she's taking the apple from the old woman. Very bad idea. The dwarfs guessed that the wicked queen had done this. They were very sad, for they had all loved Snow White. Ah, oh, do you see they are crying? They put her in a glass case and set it on the hill so that they could always see her. And so, for many years, Snow White lay in the glass case. It seemed as though she was asleep, and she looked as beautiful as ever. One of the dwarfs was always there to watch over her. Do you see all of her friends come to watch? There's the mice, rabbits, more badgers, deer, a butterfly, birds, a squirrel. Oh my. One day, a handsome prince rode by. When he saw Snow White, he fell in love with her. He asked the dwarfs if he could take Snow White in the glass case and look after her himself. But then, as the dwarfs moved Snow White, the piece of poison apple fell from her mouth and she awoke. She was alive and well once more. Ta-da! She looks much better, doesn't she? And look how happy they are. The prince asked Snow White to marry him. He told her that he would make sure that the wicked queen never harmed her again. And so the prince, Snow White, and the seven dwarves all lived happily ever after. There, they're getting married. Can you see how happy everybody looks? Happy, 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 happy. The end. Ta -da! Did you like it? Do you have a book that you want me to read in the next video? Let me know in the comment section below. Bye-bye!